Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Now in this series of movies we are going to explore how we can break objects, how we can fracture our objects, how we can create demolitions and this kind of stuff. Well, first thing, I want you to create a grid, alright? And first of all, we need to understand how we are going to break our objects, alright? Because it's not just like, oh, okay, I have this object, then I'm just going to drop it and it's, it's going to break, right? I'm going to hide my grid for a little bit. So that's what we have, right? Let's make visible our smooth wire shaded, or you can do wire shade, uh, wireframe or other kind of uh, mode right here. It's just because I want you to see all the lines that you have in uh, all the topology of your object, all right? Now, how we work with the fractured objects or how we can break objects apart? Well, we're going to use our rigid bodies, okay? This uh, option uh, in order to create this kind of simulation well but these kind of simulations uh, they are working based on groups all right and for example let's say that we want to create a group right here all right this is going to be one portion of our object so that means that this one is going to be our group number one then we can create another piece of our object okay like that and this is going to be our group number two and so on. All right, you can create these kind of uh, different groups, but this is the, the important thing. All right, you are creating groups of your object, and that means that all these uh, pieces. Okay, you can even go like that, depending on the kind of topology that you have in your in your uh, object. You're gonna create this kind of uh, topology. Okay, this kind of uh, effect. And we can break this one here, and that way this one could be eight. And you have the idea, all right? So these ones are different groups. So if I try to break apart this object, it's going to break uh, based on these portions, all right? Imagine that this one is going to be one piece, this one is going to be another entire piece, okay? And so on. So that's how we work with this kind of uh, simulation. Now, other thing is that uh, obviously we don't want this kind of uh, effect all the time, all right? Or probably you're looking for something like looks like a brick. So it, it could work uh, very good for this kind of purpose. You can go like that, create your different groups in this kind of, uh, uh, with this kind of pattern, right? And we can do all this kind of stuff. But the problem with this is that probably you, you're you going to need to create a bunch of groups and a lot of different kind of things, right? This is going to take a long time to create this kind of effect. Well, if you want to create um, like a bullet, right, in you're going to uh, shoot a, a ball into a, I don't know, glass or something, you want to have this kind of uh, breaking effect, all right? Something more like a, a web of, uh, a spider web kind of thing. So it breaks from here, from the center, the impact of the bullet right here, and then goes out. So we need to create one, two, three, four, uh, all these groups, but with this pattern, right? And the problem is that right now we are using this uh, kind of square uh, quads, uh, all the quads, and we don't have this kind of deformation in our topology. So that's the the, the main thing. Before we start to uh, we start uh, uh, with the creation of our simulations, when we want to break something apart, we need to figure out which is the the shape that we want to to achieve. What kind of object we want to we are going to break, right? If it is glass, we're going to need this kind of thing. If it is uh, cement, all right, we can go and try portions like, I don't know, okay, you need a lot of imagination in order to, uh, you know what I mean, okay, so we need to create this kind of uh, different patterns in order to get different results, and it depends what kind of object you want to break, we need to create groups, all right, and that's how we work with uh, fractured objects, how we can break ob objects apart inside Houdini, is everything based on groups, so I see you in the next movie.